Welcome to the ECM 2001 training video. The ECM 2001 is a multifunctional electrofusion and electroporation square wave generator possessing alternating current and direct current wave pulses used for cell fusion and in vivo and in vitro transfection applications. The focus of this training video will be on using the ECM 2001 for mouse hybridoma production. Connect the black and red coaxial cables to the black and red input connectors on the back panel of the ECM2001. Plug the ECM2001 power cable into correct line voltage outlet. Switch power on in the back panel. The following settings allow for the programming of the oscillating alignment waveform. AC voltage. This knob adjusts the AC alignment voltage from 0 to 75 volts. AC duration. This thumb pod controls the length of time that the AC voltage is applied when using the automatic start button. The time is set using the plus and minus push buttons to select any time up to 99 seconds. Post Fusion AC The thumb pod adjusts the post AC duration following the DC fusion pulse in the automatic mode. Simply set the pulse length up to 9 seconds for the compression of cells after the fusion. The following settings allow for the programming of square waveform pulses. Mode. This knob allows you to set the range of pulse lengths. You can set depending on the voltage range you are using, either high voltage or HV for 500 to 3000 volts, or two low voltage or LV positions for 10 to 500 volts or 50 to 500 volts. Once the selection is made, the appropriate light will come on. Pulse length. The electroporation electrofusion pulse length thumb pot controls the pulse length of the square wave pulse. The pulse is set using the upper plus and lower minus selection buttons. And depending on which mode you selected, either HV or either of the two LV modes, will determine if the time you just set is in milliseconds or microseconds. Voltage. This knob adjusts the voltage to be pulsed. And when the HV or high voltage mode is selected, Use the knob to adjust the voltage between 500 and 3000 volts. And when the LV or low voltage modes are selected, use the knob to set the voltage values between 10 and 500 volts. Turn clockwise to increase the voltage and counterclockwise to decrease the voltage. Number of pulses. Set number of pulses from 1 to 9 using the plus and minus push buttons to select the desired number of pulses. The yellow light illuminates when each pulse is delivered to the chamber and a beep is emitted. Wait. This light illuminates when the instrument has reached the end of an operating cycle and discharges all the capacitors for safety. The generator cannot be operated when this light is on. Caution. Do not change settings or initiate another cycle until wait light has extinguished. Automatic start. Press and release the automatic start button to initiate an alignment and electroporation cycle according to the preset voltage, pulse length, and number of pulses. Number of repeats. This thumb pot can be used to set the number of repeat cycles. It can be set up to nine cycles. Manual start. This two position button allows manual control of the ECM2001. Push in to start the alignment. The button illuminates and the alignment voltage is applied continuously until the button is pushed a second time to release or a timeout of 99 seconds is reached. When released, the green light goes out and the electrofusion pulses are delivered to the chamber. If the timeout is reached, the AC waveform process LED changes from continuously on to flashing. Process LEDs. These LEDs illuminate to indicate each stage of the process. After the mouse is euthanized, place the mouse on its back. Spray down the surgical area with 70% ethanol. Using sterile surgical forceps and scissors, grab the skin around the area to be dissected with the forceps and make an incision in the muscle wall of the abdomen. Locate the spleen and remove. Place the spleen into tissue culture media. Pour off the excess media. Pour the spleen or spleens into a sterile selector and collect the spleens on the surface. Inject the spleens with approximately 500 microliters of cytofusion medium. Macerate the spleen using the glass pestle by breaking it up and express it through the screen. 
flush the cells off of the pestle and through the screen with four or five milliliters of media. Collect it with a sterile transfer pipette and transfer to a 50 milliliter conical tube. Rinse the collection plate once more with media to retrieve any residual cells left on the plate. Collect with a transfer pipette and transfer into a conical tube containing the cells. Take the 50 milliliter conical tube containing about 15 milliliters of cell suspension and add 5 milliliters of Fical Histopac solution at room temperature by placing the transfer pipette at the bottom of the conical tube and slowly pipette the Fical Histopac solution in suspension without forming any bubbles. You should see a layer like this. Set the centrifuge to 200 G at room temperature for 30 minutes. After cells have been centrifuged, using a sterile transfer pipette, insert the tip until it touches the buffy coat layer containing the B cells. Transfer the cells to a new conical tube. Bring up to 50 milliliters with media and centrifuge at 400 G for 7 minutes at room temperature. After centrifugation, you should see a pellet. Pour off the supernatant and break up the pellet by flicking the tube gently. To wash the cells, add about 30 milliliters of cytofusion media and centrifuge at 400 G for 7 minutes at room temperature. Repeat twice. To connect the microslide chamber electrode to the ECM2001, attach the micro-grabber adapter heads to the banana end coaxial cables. Grab the micro-grabber head and push trigger back to expose the lead hook. Attach each hook to the leads on the microslide plate. Set microslide chamber containing your cell suspension on a microscope stage. Tape the microslide to the stage to keep the plate secure during the fusion. Attach the micrograbber cables to the chamber and initiate the electrofusion protocol. The following is a standard protocol for mouse B cell and myeloma fusion. First, set your AC alignment to the optimized alignment voltage. Push down on the black clip to lock the knob in place. Next, set your AC duration to the optimized time and set your post-fusion AC to 9 seconds. Next, the DC fusion settings are programmed. There are three mode settings. High voltage, which can be set from 500 to 3000 volts, with a pulse duration from 1 microsecond to 99 microseconds. There are also two different low voltage mode settings. Both of the low voltage modes can be set from 10 to 500 volts, However, the difference between the two low voltage modes are the pulse durations that can be achieved. The upper low voltage mode can be set from 0.01 millisecond to 0.99 millisecond. The lower low voltage mode option can be set for a pulse duration from 1 millisecond to 99 milliseconds. Set the pulse length to 10 microseconds. Set the voltage to the optimized predetermined voltage. Push down on the black clip to lock the voltage knob. Set the pulse number. Finally, set the number of program repeats to zero. Hit the automatic start button to initiate the electrofusion. It is helpful to analyze the cells immediately after the fusion to determine if there is a problem with the fusion itself. A simple analysis is to use a cytospin to place cells on a slide and stain the cells with a Wright's Guillem's stain. Assemble the cytospin apparatus by fitting the glass slide in with a double cytospin funnel. Close the apparatus, make a second one as a balance. To prepare a slide of fused cells, dilute a small aliquot of fused cells, 1 to 2 in media. Allow the cells to rest for 30 minutes. Take 100 microliters of fused cells and pipette into the cytospin funnel. Repeat for the other side using 100 microliters. Place cytospin slides into the cytospin. Set to 350 RPM for 2 minutes. After cytospin is complete, allow the slide to air dry for a few minutes, then dunk the entire slide into fresh 95% ethanol and hold for about 5 seconds. Allow the slide to air dry, then place the slide in Wright's Guillem's stain for one minute. Then dunk the slide up and down in a beaker of DI water to remove most of the stain. In a second beaker of clean DI water, dunk the slide up and down until the precipitates of the stain are no longer on the slide. Rest the slide on a clean paper towel and allow to air dry. 
View under a microscope using an oil immersion lens. Count the percentage of the cells with two or more nuclei. This concludes the setup and video training for the ECM 2001 system.